What's good peeps? It's your boy Edward Toda. Today is a Sunday, so you know what that means. Story time Sunday, let's go. Before I get into anywhere, anywhere further into this video, I just wanna make a disclaimer, all right? If you're in school, if you're a student, <laughs> don't do this shit, okay? I'm not encouraging anyone to cheat, okay? Do not do this shit. Go study, don't, you know, take school seriously, don't do what I did. Well, if it works for you, do it, but don't, just, just watch the video, but the point is, don't cheat, all right? Don't do anything illegal. <laughs> all right, so let me give you some backstory from the, my good old high school days, all right? Now this this was an interesting time. It was an interesting time because I, I'm not bragging, but- And I'm not bragging, it's just that I didn't believe in Santa Claus at two and a half and nobody had to tell me. I'm not bragging here, but you know, not everybody's family found in Texas. Again, I'm not bragging to say that things I've coined become popular parlance. I'm not bragging, but aren't those some big pecs? I'm not bragging, but I never had to study very hard to get good grades in high school, okay? I always did all my study at the very last possible moment and got really good grades. I mean, it did mean that I was up basically, like in the last year of high school, I was probably doing 40, 50 all-nighters if you count them all up. So I was like sleep deprived most of that year, right? But the point is, I always did well in school. That's just so you understand, like I wasn't just like, oh, screw school. No, 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 I was still getting good grades. But basically in, <laughs> in high school, me and a bunch of my friends were basically all just trying to figure out the least amount of effort we could do and like the, the best way to game the system and best, the best way to just like screw around at school and do absolutely nothing while still getting good grades. So that was kind of our challenge, <laughs> you know, like, and it wasn't even like we set, set out to do that. We just couldn't be bothered putting in all this because it was a place where you had to be and like we weren't really keen to be there. Like we, we didn't really give a shit about whatever they were teaching, you know what I mean? Like, we just wanted to get on with our lives. So, we're like, you know what? We I know we need this, like, we need the grades for, to, to go to uni or whatever. Um, but damn, like, this is boring as hell, you know? So, so we did a lot of crazy shit. Now, in terms of cheating, okay, I, uh, I personally have, like, a moral thing, right? Like, I, I think, I think cheating in, in exams and stuff like that is bad, okay? Like, I don't think you should do it. I don't think it's okay to do it. I think if someone, you know, does it and, and gets caught, that's on them and it's their problem and all that stuff. And I think it gives you an unfair advantage that you don't actually deserve, okay? Some would argue that if you can get away with it, then you deserve it, but I don't, I don't see it that way. I mean, yeah, I, don't, I just don't see it that way. But in English class, we had these internal exams, right? They were internally assessed. They were assessed by the teacher that was uh, doing the course. And we basically, they were long, really long essays, okay? That's, that's essentially what they, they were. They weren't even that long, but they were essentially just essays about a topic. Essentially, what we had to do was write all of, like the whole thing over a period of like a week, right? We had to write all of our, like the whole essay at school. We weren't allowed to do, go home with it. We weren't allowed to, um, and this was on, on computers, so you had access to internet, you had access to like everything, right? Like, it wasn't like like an exam where you can't, you know, you have to like remember shit and test your knowledge and all that stuff. It wasn't. It was just a purely like a, a, a exam to test how well you write. And the reason why we weren't allowed to take it home is because we weren't, they weren't, they can't, you know, there's no way for them to know whether that's your work or it's your brother's work or your mom's work or whoever, you know, like someone else could write it for you. So to them, if you, you know, if they kept it in the, the classroom, you couldn't leave with it. Uh, you had to save it on a computer there and you couldn't, you know, do anything. That's how they, they, uh, they basically kept track of who was doing what. Basically what I'm trying to say is they gave you like too much time to do something um, that could have been done in like a day, right? So what we did, we basically screwed around the entire time until the deadline came. And then we're like, oh shit, um, we haven't even started, right? So what I did is I went home, I uh, didn't sleep the whole night, which was usual procedure for me, you know, in general. Uh, <laughs> didn't sleep the whole night, wrote out my whole entire essay at home, the whole thing, and then I basically broke it down in the, in the, in the, like, in Word, right? I broke it down and I made it really tiny, like the size, the, the, the character size, the text size, small as hell, like you could barely read it. And I combined them and I made like little, little cards, like out of, out of paper, just paper. Like I just printed out on, on small paper, pieces of paper about this size, maybe a bit smaller. And I just printed out like a, like a small stack of them, right? And basically what I did, I just, stored them in my sleeve. Now, <laughs> magicians, when people say, ah, oh, you're using your sleeves, they kind of laugh because we know you hardly ever use your sleeves in magic, you know? 
Very rarely, very, very rarely. In fact, for cards, I've never seen it done. So <laughs> this time I really did do that, <laughs> you know? Um, so I use the technique that really magicians don't even use, but you know, it's, it's kind of cliche, so it's whatever. So yeah, what happened was I went there and I opened up my, I opened up my document that was supposed to be my, you know, my existing, pre-existing work. And as the teacher was walking around the class, I would pull one of the, one of the sheets, like the little pieces of paper into my palm, right? Like this. I would read what it says and I'd, I'd type, read, type. Read, type, 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 read, type. The teacher walked past me. If, if I saw her coming, uh, I would, I'd slip it back in here and I would just keep typing away. If she, if, if I, if it kind of caught me off guard, I was you know, getting too much into my work and, and, and oh shit. And I'll just keep it in my palm. There's, there's no way they're going to see that. You know, I was just like this. And usually I would be, I'd have one, one hand down. I'd have one on the mouse searching. They didn't even suspect a thing, right? Not one thing, not even my classmates, not even people sitting next to me didn't see shit. So, uh, you know, I got away with it every time, but the stakes were high. Cause if, if, if I got caught even a little bit, you know, it, all it taken is maybe a classmate tip me off or tip them, uh, them off. Watch out. He's cheating. And I would have had a, a compl not achieved. I would have completely uh, flunked that paper or that, that exam. Right. So it was high risk and uh, not really that high reward because I could have just done the work in the first place, <laughs> you know, but I, I'm not really, I don't feel guilty about it because I wasn't getting any unfair advantage. In fact, I screwed around most of the time. So I actually had less time to work on it. Um, you know, and uh, yeah, the, the only reason that they, they did that was so that you, you know, someone else wasn't going to do the work for you. Right. Um, you could use the internet, you could do all that stuff. So there wasn't really any problem there. I don't, I, I didn't feel like I was getting an advantage. Uh, but I did that quite a bit. I did that for like two or three exams in English, I think. Yeah, something like that. And I remember one of them was no internet, right? Um, and for that one, I actually I actually sat in the class and did it because I, I figured like, you know, if I can use the internet at home, no. But um, <laughs> the thing is, they didn't like, because there was no internet, I couldn't, there was no way for me to save a copy of the essay. And I really enjoyed this essay. So I was like, I finished it really quickly. I finished it way before everyone else. So I was like, okay, let me figure out if there's a way that I can, you know, get get a workaround way to get onto the onto the internet on these computers. Because what they did was they basically, uh, you know, brought in the, the tech guy and they're like, we want all the internet off these accounts uh, for the next whatever, right? And it uh, turns out I found a way. <laughs> if you if you uh, like click on Internet Explorer help or something like that, it opens up a help page and it takes you to Microsoft.com or some shit like that. And it's a working browser, and I was like, yes. So basically, I just got went on Gmail, e emailed myself the file, and uh, that was that. That wasn't cheating, but again, if I got caught with that, I would have been in deep shit. Um, yeah. So I did a lot. We did a lot of shit like that. I mean, even just absences. I tried to game the system so hard. I read through the guidelines with their like you know school rule book or whatever. The, I don't know what they call it. And I read that they basically, if 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 you're absent for three days without a medical certificate they have to call, you know, the whatever, whatever organization, government organization works with kids that don't go to school. I don't know what the hell it's called, but you understand what I'm saying. They have to actually report it. Um, whereas, so what I, okay, I was like, okay, so what I did was I'd, I would wag two days in a row. So I wouldn't come to school two days in a row. I would actually stay home and study, but that's beside the point. Two days in a row, I wouldn't go. And then the third day I would go to school just to show up, right? And they'd be like, oh, what happened? Oh, yeah, yeah I'm just sick, right? <laughs> and then, and then the next two days, I wouldn't go again. <laughs> so the teachers at this point, like, they knew what the hell was going on, but the system was set up that way. So they were just like, like, what are we going to do? Just keep him in the, keep him in the tension. He's getting good grades. Like, we can't do it. <laughs> it was the funniest thing ever. So yeah, most of the teachers were just like, they were just like, ah, whatever, we can't deal with this shit. <laughs> So yeah, that's kind of, uh, you know, all the little cheat cheating things I did back in high school, you know. In fact, I wasn't even that hardcore, you know, I, the story, my stories my dad has from back in Romania, because those dudes, they didn't give a shit. They were savages. They didn't give a shit. They, weren't, they didn't care about morals back then. But what the hell's that? They just wanted to get the grades. Um, so what they would do is they'd get a, like a, a playing card or something, have have notes on it, uh, and, and like a rubber band attached all the way up the sleeve onto like the the shirt button so what they could do is they could look at it and then if the teacher came they would just have to let go and this would shoot into the sleeve um and that was that now see for me that wouldn't have worked because i had like 10 pieces of little like little pieces of paper 
Um, so I needed to be able to cycle them in and out and that wouldn't work. Um, <laughs> but that's pretty smart. That's pretty smart. That's actually, there's actually a, a, a like a metal mechanism um, that Cheats used to use that works very, very similar to that. Uh, so that's kind of where I think the idea of like card in the sleeve uh, came from. But really nowadays magicians don't really use that at all. But yeah, that's how I use the magic techniques to basically cheat in high school. But uh, in my opinion, it, it, I was morally cheating, okay? It wasn't immoral. <laughs> I didn't feel like I was getting an advantage. I just wanted to do as little work in school as possible, just screw around and have fun. So um, that's, that's why I did it. <laughs> um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that. If you did, leave a like. It helps me a lot. Um, you know, subscribe. I do daily videos, so if you want to see that, go ahead and do that. Um, you know, follow me on all social media platforms. The links are down below. If you want to support me on Patreon, the link is down below. That would be much appreciated. If you want to hang out with me and all of you watching these videos, there's a Discord down below. Go ahead and click on it. You don't need to have. You don't even have to have Discord on your computer. It just gives you straight into the browser, and uh, you can chat with us and voice chat and just hang out. It'll be fun. And as always, matter of respect, much love, stay lit, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace!